Are you a flight attendant? Do you have plans of living or working in Australia in the future? If you do, then this vlog is right for you. Hey guys, how are you? By the way, my name is Carla and finally, I welcome you here in my YouTube channel, The Flight Attendant Migrant, where I will be talking about my journey from being a flight attendant to becoming a Filipino migrant here in Australia. At first, it was a bit challenging for me to think of an idea of which I should be covering on my first ever vlog. But I realized that since a lot of people have been asking me on how we were able to get a skilled migration visa, I came up with this idea of just filming a video showing with you guys all of the processes that I had to go through to become an Australian skilled visa. Before we move on, just a disclaimer, I am not a migration agent even a professional on any migration process. My ultimate goal is just to share with my flight attendant colleagues that yes, we do have an option of migrating here to Australia. If that is something that interests you at gusto mong malaman kung anong mga details about it, then please keep on watching. So my husband and I decided to start an application to Australia mid-2018. Sa mga panahon na yun, wala pa talaga kaming any idea kung paano ba mag-start ng application for visa. So the first thing that came into my mind was to look for a migration agent. Hindi ko po sinasabi sa inyo that your application will only be successful if you course it through a migration agent. What I'm just trying to say is that whatever floats your boat, if you can do it on your own, then go for it. Kasi unang-una, talagang mas makakatipin ka doon. But if you really need a help, mas mabuting mag-hire ka na lang din ng migration agent. Guys, should you decide to go for a DIY application and you'd like to know more about the migration process, the different kinds of visa Australia gives, the processing time, and even the conditions on each of the visa, the most legitimate website to go to for that is the migration website of Australia. I will post in the comment section below the link on where you can access it. So the next thing we did is that nag-set kami ng appointment with our immigration agent. They did run an initial assessment on my credentials as a cabin crew. At doon ko nalaman na para pala mag-qualify ako for migration, I had to pass the general pointing system of Australia. So kung gusto nyong malaman kung ano na yung mga criteria na ginagamit nila para mag-qualify for migration, you don't have to worry. I will discuss it to you one by one. Criteria number one is all about your skills. Um, for skills, it's just either a yes or a no remark. Kailangan alamin mo if yung trabaho mo ba ay kailangan ni Australia sa bansa nila. And paano mo ba ito malalaman? Si Australia, they have this what we call skilled occupation list. At ano nga ba itong listahan na ito? Bakit parang napaka-importante niya naman? This list actually summarizes the occupations that Australia needs to fill skill shortages. Dito mo malalaman if yung trabaho mo ba ay kailangan ni Australia sa bansa nila. So, luckily in 2018, I was able to find out that flight attendants are on that list. I grabbed the chance and applied right away. Um, just a reminder then, guys, no, tung listahan na to, it might change every fiscal year. Depends on the workforce that Australia needs on that particular time. Criteria number two is work experience. Si Australia kasi, kailangan yung evaluate if my work experience and credentials are living up to their standards of being a cabin crew. So, paano nila measure up yun? I have to produce a positive assessment from a certain assessing body. So there is a different assessing body for each relevant occupation. Example, for engineers, we have Engineers Australia. For CPA or accountants, we have CPA Australia. And for us cabin crew, we have Vet Assess. Generating a positive assessment from Vet Assess is crucial to my application because without it, we wouldn't be able to move forward to the next stage. Over 2018, I was able to generate a positive outcome from them. But believe it or not, guys, despite of having this, I still got zero points for work experience. And I will tell you why. As my education is not related to my profession, 
By the way, for the benefit of those who are watching, I am a broadcasting major and as per VETA says, I should have been a graduate of tourism in order for them to consider my four years of flying experience. Yari, they deducted two years. They considered it as an on-the-job training for me. And then, tinira lang nila yung another two years as my working experience. The thing is, for this particular category, if an applicant has zero to three years of experience, it has no corresponding points. Okay, so third criterion is English language skills. Yes, guys, you heard it right. Kailangan mo magtake ng English test. Um, I think it's just appropriate for Australia to measure up my command of English because they are an English-speaking country. They have to make sure that I will be able to communicate in case I would be granted the visa. So last January 2019, I did take the person's test of English. Um, apart from IELTS, PTE is also one of the exams that Australia acknowledges. So if you don't want to take IELTS, you can take PTE. For us flight attendants, we need to get at least seven. But in my case, my migration agent pushed me to have an eight as an overall score because wala nga akong points for work experience. So I have to make it up on this category. So I really pushed for an eight. And luckily, I was able to get it on the first attempt. Criteria number four is age. The maximum point that you can get here is the 30 points. At the time of our application, which was, I think, on June 12, 2019, I was 30 years old. And for that age bracket, the corresponding points is 30 points as well. By the way, guys, you would be able to apply for a visa if you are under 45 years old. And the younger you are at the time of your application, the higher points that you will get. Criteria number five is education. I got 15 points for this one because um, Australia is giving 15 points to bachelor degree holder and I am a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication Broadcasting major. So because of that, they gave me 15 points for this category. Next criterion is state nomination points. Now for this particular category, I will try to explain it the best and simplest way that I can. As you all know, there are certain locations in Australia or certain areas in Australia which have low population. They are called regional areas. Now one way of the states getting more people to live in their area is to sponsor migrants. And that's basically what happened with me. They agreed to give me additional 10 points to be added onto my migration points given that I will stay and live there for a certain period of time. That's why ang aking pong visa ay skilled regional visa subclass 489. Basically, this visa allows me to live and work in Australia for in South Australia for four years. Some of its conditions are I have to work full time for a year and live in South Australia, particularly for two years. After that, I will be free of my obligation, and it's entirely up to me whether I'll stay in this in the same state or I move to another place. Last criterion is spouse skills. Alam nyo, ang maganda kasi sa Australian visa, whether it be skilled, student, or permanent, is that you can include your family in your application. As for me, I did include my husband as my secondary applicant in our visa. And because of that, he was able to contribute to our migration points by taking the English exam. By the way, he also did take the PTE. Um, he was required to get a 7 for the overall score which he was able to get because of that we were able to generate additional five points for migration Guys, that's it for the first part of how to secure an Australian visa for flight attendants. I will be making another video again for the second part. 
and I do hope that you got some takeaways from my first ever video and please do support me by liking my videos and subscribing to my channel The Flight Attendant Migrant. This has been Carla and I'll see you next time.